Hi yo! Sorry, that's not my normal intro, but I thought I'd use Mr. Schmelzer's name here to welcome you all to this video, because, well, why not? I'm sure Mr. Schmelzer agrees, as I'm basically promoting his brand name, you know? Always hustling, always working on that side hustle, dude. Even if it's 1941 and we're committing war crimes with the boys, you gotta use every opportunity to grow your brand. Jeff Bezos would agree. How are you all doing, humans of the world? My name is Mage McDonald's, or Unejectivable, and you're watching another Enlisted video. In fact, you're actually watching another Enlisted Tips and Tricks video, but in this one, I'll be abiding by a request I recently received on my last video, and showing some gameplay here, but not any ordinary gameplay. It will be a high-scoring game at the top of the leaderboard that I recently had, but not only that, I will also be including a voiceover explaining what I'm doing at every moment and why I'm doing it. This should help you guys know what to learn and do in your games to improve your own performances, and also allow you to gain XP quicker and level up your campaigns quicker. There will be some niche tips in here as well for experienced players, so it should include plenty for everybody. So, let's stop talking now and start, well, uh, talking more, I guess, but like with gameplay, even though this intro does actually have gameplay on the screen that you're watching now, but I mean, like pure gameplay with in-game sounds and talking which actually explains the things I'm doing in-game, but you know I already said that, so you know already what the video is about. Anyway, let's begin. So I guess I'll quickly show you what exactly I'm bringing on these soldiers. Um, so basically this first guy, I've got pretty much a pre-war car 98k. I just added a bayonet to it because I remembered I got one. With a classic Granatswerfer, an axe to replace a knife, and a classic explosion pack, a med kit. And pretty much the same on all the other troops in this squad. Um, but maybe slightly different weapons, so you know, a bit of experimentation there. This one's got a small backpack and a water P38. Um, just to add a bit of variety to it. This one's got a small ammo pouch. I'm just trying to, you know, use squads with very, very basic loadout. So I essentially, you know, it shows you you don't need all this topper tier equipment to do really well in game. You know, um, this squad is actually a max level uh, machine gunner campaign, machine gunner squad. Um, Battle of Moscow, level 16. So, you know, only level 16 you can already get this kind of thing. Um, MG13s in all of them. Um, on the rest of the troops as well, I've got an engineer. I've got a radio operator with mostly basic stuff, really. Nothing over overly complicated or that you guys shouldn't go for in the early games anyway. The weapons are really, really basic, just stuff I've unlocked. Obviously, with this Assaulter Squad, I've got the Suomi KP-26, just because it's my favourite weapon in the game. It's just so cool. Um, the other guys have just got MP-38s on them, so, you know, things that you unlock really, really early on. My gunner here has got the ZB-26. Um, the engineer here has just, you know, got basically the, the classic basic things, and that bomber did as well with some with the AT rifle. This sniper I'm showing now was the thing you got in the recent Twitch drops event. Um, it's just a normal pre-war car 98 with scope, so you know nothing really out of the ordinary there. Classic Gewehr 30, 33 to 30, 40s. Um, one of them has a grenade pouch on them. Tanker squads I rarely ever use. It's a Panzer 3E. Um, I've just equipped them all with M40s. Probably won't use them in the game though. Um, my pilot has a parachute and another assault rifle as well. So we'll just jump into the game now. Just to show, you know, this is just pure, unedited gameplay footage. And I'm just recording this voiceover over the top purely because I know you guys will enjoy this kind of thing. Um, and just show you, you know, you don't need, as I said before, you don't need high levels, you don't need all this advanced weaponry to do really well in a game to come first, to have a real impact for your team and to almost win the game, um, if not already win it. Um, and I'm using this uh, level 16 campaign mostly because it's one of my lowest, um, it might be my lowest level at the minute, Moscow level 16 for the Axis. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just the one I thought I'd use because it's probably most relatable for new players just because it's the lowest one. I know level 16 is not exactly a new level, but you can get to level 16 relatively easily. Um, probably within, you know, a few you know, double digits of games, but as we can see the, the map we've loaded into is Quarry North Invasion and I can see immediately that we're attacking, um, because at the top screen there you've got the red shields, you've also got 
the blue uh, icon for people and I immediately tried to decide which squad I want to use. I went with the um, Mortar Men here. I could have gone with anything else that could have suited it, the playstyle I wanted to go for, but the Mortar Squads are who I'm trying to level up at this point. So yeah, I'm just running into the game at the minute. It's trying to get close to the points, running with the axe so you can run quicker. Remember that as a good tactic. Use my Mortar to just try and, you know, cause a bit of havoc amongst the defenders aiming approximately in the right area where their point is you know I'm already getting a few kills which is lovely to see and also adjusting the distance quite a lot just to ensure that you know I can cover a lot of distance so I'm going a bit behind the point as well about 10 meters behind it and you can see I got quite a lot of kills already now I'm gonna try and go for the point see who's left see what damage I can deal so just running around because of my guys died previously I know there's people trying to shoot me so I'm trying to go around the side a bit of a flanking technique going through a few houses seeing what I can do running near walls as well to try and narrow any angles for people to shoot you but never mind I did get shot because I wasn't close enough to that wall so I guess that's you know a bit of an incentive to tell you guys to run closer to walls um, yeah, mostly just because it prevents at least one side, or people shooting you from one side, um, which is exactly the main thing. And now, because I know there's a guy somewhere around here shooting, so I thought I'd bring some snipers this time on my next life and just see if I can pick off any people. I've already got two there. I saved one of my friends who's down on the floor, who the guy I thought didn't finish off. Sniping a few more, seeing what I can do trying to get the guys who shot my other guy who fell just before realized that I've got an artillery strike thought I'd just put it on the point itself because I sort of realized that that's going to be the best place to put it running into the house once again trying to get a bit of a flanking maneuver realize there's people on this side as well They're trying to quick scope them clear some space out for me so I can essentially use this this side of the train tracks for myself got another one realize he's got an SMG on him pick that up so now I realize I mean while it doesn't have much ammo I realize I can actually go in for close range with this guy because of the fact that I've got an SMG but I throw a grenade never mind I get hit straight down the other guy gets hit straight down as well and I want to go and pick up his sniper which is what I try and do my fallen guy's sniper Pick him up with this radio engineer. So now I've got two weapons on this radio engineer. One normal rifle and one sniper. Which will be very useful in certain circumstances. Trying to scout out the area before I run into it. Because I do not want to die like all my other guys just did. I know there's some people somewhere in these sort of quarry area. Sort of sitting there shooting. They normally are. And I can see the head of someone. So I'm going to come around the side. See if I can get them all... I somehow missed this guy twice, which is, like, shameful. I knocked down one of them, but <laughs> somehow I missed the second guy twice, which almost never happens. Um, bit of a shame there, because I could have probably wiped out his entire squad if I was quick enough. And you can do that with a bolt-action rifle. That's one of the joys of a bolt-action. You can wipe out entire squads if your movement is clean enough, and it was most of the time, but he had an SMG, so, you know, it's never always going... You know, you can't really escape that. The movement doesn't really account for the fact he's got an SMG. But now I'm going to use some gunners to try and run in here. Thought I'd see what was in this little house because some defenders normally sit in there from past knowledge on these maps. Run into the house, give me a bit of cover. Scouting out the house, seeing if anyone is here. Trying to run into the next house now where the point is. Getting a few people knocked down. Realise I didn't kill this guy off, so I have to get him. You can see on the point there's, you know, a few of my teammates are here, but equally there was at least one guy who I did just take out just then. I got a bit confused because one of my teammates was shooting each other there. <laughs> so I turned around and I thought I'd use the upstairs of this house to try and delay Defending team's advance. Saw that guy trying to throw a grenade. Uh, I, it, luckily, I didn't need to move because I realised it didn't make it into that bit of the house that I was. And 
I, there was too many people here for me to really get them all. Eventually they notice where I am and start shooting me. That guy goes down. I've got one guy left, one gunner left. For some reason he's sitting outside of the house and I've got no idea why. Spot one guy out the corner of my eyes. It's difficult to see though because of the fire. It really distorts light everywhere. There is another guy in this house you can see by the, um, the point icon. I got one, but there's more people coming in and I can see that, but I'm trying to ignore them for the mainly the sole purpose of marking that tank, which it takes me out eventually, as you can see, DT machine gun that gets me there. This time I thought I'd go with my mortar guys once again. Um, once again, you know, I shouldn't always pick mortar guys, maybe they weren't the best squads to pick in this instance but I did want to these are the only guys that I didn't have leveled up apart from all, you know including all the other squads that I brought with me for this game so I'm trying to get them I'm trying to shoot in general positions I'm trying to look at the point first of all then I went close to where the tank was because people marked that area so firing some more onto the point and you can see on the map icon in the bottom left corner where my mortars are hitting just to get a bit of an idea where people might have been. Realize that tank is shooting me once again as soon as I turn around this corner, which is going to really screw over my team. So I think, you know, better place a rally point somewhere. Or at least I thought about it before I forgot because I was trying to pick up that guy's weapon, but then I realized I won't be able to because that tank was still shooting me. I lose half my health as a result. Gotta get in the house if anyone's there. Get sniped from across the road, which is quite disappointing because I didn't see him. You can see his little red icon on the map as I spawn in where he actually was. Um, trying to use this rally point that someone else put inside a house. Although I'm looking at that and thinking that's really not going to work out because that's right in the tank's line of fire. And guess what you're about to find out? It is. Now everybody who comes out of this rally point is going to get screwed over and immediately die. So this rally point is absolutely pointless and because of the new feature that uh, Enlisted recently brought out, you can't destroy your own team's rally points and your teammates are often very stupid so they keep spawning there and as a result I realise I can't spawn there but the rest of my team will spawn there and my whole team will just keep losing tickets and respawn points as a result so I realised this game's got immediately a lot harder because you can't remove that rally. So I figure out that I probably need to place another rally point because otherwise my team are just going to keep spawning on that rally point until it decides to, well probably until the tank decides it's just going to try and blow up the actual rally point itself rather than the people running out of it. So trying to build another one, trying to check to see whether that tank can actually hit this rally where I'm building it now. Thought I'd try and throw some artillery down in the area, at least as far as I can put it on the map due to the map borders. Finish my rally. I can see at the corner of my um, screen that one of the tanks at least was exploded but I saw another shot being fired. Therefore, there's another one there <clears throat> still shooting into my team. I figure out I've got we've got 571 tickets to try and take this point. Otherwise, you know, it's really not looking good for my team, especially with that other rally point just draining away my team's tickets. That first guy running fools tried to throw in an explosive pack at the top, trying to see if I can get some kills. That guy doesn't manage to do anything, but he does get a few kills with the explosive pack. You've got to be really, really quick with your reaction time. There's a lot of dead bodies outside of it. But luckily my teammate has cleared out the people who were there. Um, there is one guy on who's just left the point. As a point, just clean one of them up because for some reason my teammate didn't finish him off. We do take that point, luckily. <coughs> Trying to clear some space for my teammate and myself to run because there's a lot of enemies trying to get into this point. Um, I got a few kills with the explosive pack. Clean up one guy. One guy should throw a Molotov at me, which is surprising. I don't normally get a lot of those thrown at me. I need to clean up these snipers before they run away to try and get into the sniping spot. I can't finish off this one guy for some reason. Oh, my machine gun clearly is not that accurate, or at least as accurate as I thought. There's another guy up here who I saw at the corner of my eye, so I just thought I'd take him out. There's another guy there running away. Didn't see the guy behind me though. So I do fall down, but I got a lot of kills there, trying to help clean out the space around for my team. As a result, it does mean that defenders spawn 
even further back, even though that point's 162 or something meters away, they spawn even further away at the other side of it. So we clean out space for my team to run into and use, which is why it's very important to clear out the area around you. Um, especially if they, you know, can just see you if you're trying to run to that point because they just mow you down immediately. So you need to get rid of everyone you can. Use my mortars again to try and bomb the area around that new point. See what we can get. So we've, you know, we've got about half our tickets left to try and take four points, which is not looking good whatsoever. I can see there's a bit of explosion going on there. I can see the tank. I'm trying to mark it, but for some reason they won't let me mark the actual tank. So at some point I just give up and just mark the area. See a couple of guys running. Because of my accuracy, I'm able to at least knock them both down while they're moving. Decide to clean up the guy who I shot first because he's the most likely one to get up before I knife the other guy. I can see a few people trying to shoot me from this cliff edge. A lot of people do like to sit on this cliff edge when defending and attacking. So I'm trying to get rid of them. Here I see another guy at the corner of my eye trying to move in. I can't clean him up and I know I'm getting shot from different angles so I'm trying to run against the dunes of the quarry and use cover at least to one side get a few kills here and I realize I've run into some trouble because there's a lot more than I thought there would be so instead I'd for the next guy I'll throw an explosive pack so I realize I can't really run in there with a bolt action and clean them all up if they're all gonna look at me fortunately for me this SMG guy doesn't notice I'm there doesn't matter though because another guy's trying to shoot me and as soon as I get knocked down I try to get behind this little wheel thing to give me a little bit of cover so maybe they can't shoot me um, but another guy comes up to clean me. But it would have been a nice idea and I probably would have been able to get back up um, if there was not another guy there. So it's always a good piece of advice to try and find some quick cover before you use your med pack. Because it might just allow you to get back up again. But you know, only really do that if there's actually some cover very close to you. Even if it's quite small and not the best cover. Running in with my Suomi KP26 now onto the point because that's the best thing for SMGs to do just to run on the point and see what damage you can do I get one kill I'm trying to hide underneath this I don't know what the structure is it's like a digger of some sorts because I think I could try hide from the artillery but unfortunately those bombers those bombs still get me which is a bit sad because I thought they wouldn't I get knocked down but I've got the med pack usage speed perk so I can get back up very quickly it doesn't matter though because two planes coming from two directions knock me down try to do a bit of damage to one plane. I don't know if I actually do any damage to that plane, um, mostly because it doesn't really tell you. Like I goes down, try to use my gunner to get a few of those snipers from that high point down. I'm not sure whether that guy's actually dead or not. I think one of my teammates got him, so that's fine. Quite a lot of people running here. The ZB isn't very accurate because of its high rate of fire, so I'm not able to get a lot of them there, which is a bit disappointing. Get on with the bolt action, and me and this one other guy, one of my teammates, are both hiding around the same rock. Um, although it gets me and not my teammate, which is very, very sad. And then upon respawning, you realize that the respawns we actually have are really, really far away from the next point. So it's going to be a bit tricky, we have to run all the way down the quarry, try and get there. Change it to my knife to try and run a bit faster. So once again, what matters about your run speed is pretty much only to do with what you're actually carrying or using at that moment. Thought I'd try and get a rally down, trying to get inside this little digger thing, um, builder's digger, I don't even know what they're called. I realized I can't actually put one in there, which I thought I could put a rally point in there. Turns out I can't, so I go into the house, try and build one in here. Because this is arguably the best place in the quarry to build one, even though it's the most obvious place to build one. I try to use a bit of artillery, but one of my teammates has already got there first and is using it on the point anyway, so that's fine. He'll probably get a few kills for himself. I try to get out this window, a bit struggling, <laughs> sort of glitch out of that window. Aiming onto the point, seeing who's there, who's causing my teammates some trouble. Then I realise up on this cliff there are still those snipers that I was trying to remove earlier. And with properly aiming and using the shift key to zoom in and hold your breath, you can really take them out with just bolt action rifles. 
to like get that guy's head, and he, his head was only just poking out of that cliff there. I see some of my teammates up on the cliff trying to remove those guys anyway, which is very, very nice that they're actually there. I see a tank, a market, but you know, a little bit of a glitch doesn't let me mark him. I had to pick up this grenade and throw it back, but you know, the hitbox of that grenade is so, or the explosive pack is so small that I actually miss it and get exploded by it. Doesn't matter because my team capture the point. Then I realise I'm a bit surrounded here because there's still a lot of people where my team were shooting on that cliff area, at least running down, but they were also being sniped and killed by the tank that's up on the new point, the new high area. I'm trying to run up there to see if I can get rid of that tank because I realise a lot of my team are going to die to it if we don't. Luckily my rally is still up in that house. Switch to my snipers because I realised they've probably got the best chance at neutralising those guys on the high points because otherwise we're all just going to get mowed down. Right in front of me there, some tank cannon takes out at least two of my teammates, which is not a nice sight to behold. I see one of my teammates trying to shoot in this vague direction, so I have a bit a scope down there, see a few snipers hiding behind that rock, and another one hiding on cliff really far away. I get him while moving and I see another one just poking his head out, going prone there. I don't think any of my team probably would have got him if I didn't there, so that's a very good one for me to get. You can see I'm getting a lot of hits with my artillery that I placed. Only one kill though, that's fine because a lot of them probably will be downed. So running in here, there's one guy there. I knock one down with my sniper, it doesn't matter because of my friend's explosive pack it gets there first. I miss that guy because he's going prone and crouching. He's really quick while crouching, he must have the movement speed perk while crouching. Then I realise this sniper really is not the best tool for the job, as there's a lot of people in this area. So I try and throw a grenade and try to get behind cover so I can switch weapon. Try and get myself a bit more cover, trying to find a place. Somehow lovely take out there, even though I was concussed. And I still managed to take out one of the SMGs, which would have mowed down my entire team if I didn't. So that was a pretty nice kill, actually. Pretty nasty. One for the highlights reel. Switch to my SMGs because I then realise because there's a lot of guys on that point and we're pushing up quite well that I need SMGs to clean up as many of them as I possibly can. And I've, it gives me the, the best chance of getting a lot of them as opposed to the sniper which, you know, one shot then you have to wait a little bit to, for the chamber to reload. Trying to run up using a bit of cover, as much cover as I can. Get one guy I do successfully pick up that grenade this time that someone threw at me and threw it back to them. I get a kill with his own grenade onto himself, which is pretty nasty. I'm trying to mow down as many of them as I possibly can with my Suomi. Always look around you and use that cover, as I was talking to you before, I was using that barrel for cover, at least to one side. So that guy who was prone earlier, couldn't shoot me. I'm mowing down a lot of them. I got a bit confused then because this guy popped out of nowhere. <laughs> he was my own teammate and I was trying to shoot him because I do not remember him at all being on my map. The SMGs are surprisingly accurate from distance. I mean, that's not particularly far, but you can get a lot of things down there. And as I was trying to mow down two people there, I tried to get them so they're both downed. I tried to pick up this grenade as well. I failed <laughs> once again. But as I was saying, trying to mow down those two, I knock one down so he's down on the floor and has to recover so then I can hit the other guy because he could switch to the other guy who's still alive. So by knocking them both down then you can easily clean them up and finish them off. Switching to my gunners this time but I decide to pick my engineer as the one to be. I see some shots coming from there and they're quite large shots which must mean there's a tank or an AT gun somewhere there so I realise I can't really just run up this little path. Some of my guys getting mowed down, and I see another guy going prone and shooting in this direction, which is where I'm aiming. Then I see two guys, two enemies going prone, two snipers of some sort. I get them both with my bolt action, which is pretty nasty. I knock one guy down, he tries to shift and try and hide behind a bit of a wall. I get another guy, He doesn't. Uh, that first guy doesn't hide well enough though, I'm able to get him after a while. 
lovely little headshot there to knock one of them down immediately. One of these snipers down immediately and I realise I'm going to go with this tank because this tank is not looking at me and because of their very small field of view I can just, I know I can just walk up behind him and take him out. Trying to hold my grenades for quite a long time before I throw them the explosive pack. So it gives the tank less time to react and I hear, as I destroy that one tank, I hear another tank coming and mark it for my team because I realise, you know, I'm going to struggle and I know I don't have an explosive pack at this point so I thought I'd just clear the way for the rest of my team to follow me because they well, do have explosive packs. I tried to hit one guy but unfortunately the tank actually gets in the way. doesn't matter though because some guy gets me with an anti-tank rifle which is nasty. Um, that's really, you know, heavy. You know, a lot of people are using their anti-tank rifles just to fire at you, but I think the AI do that quite a lot, which is a bit weird. I can use my mortar strikes, because I know a lot of people like to just sit around the point, and as I saw a lot of people in the same kind of area just before I died, I thought it would be the best thing to try and get me a few kills, and just try and clear that point out. We've got 400, well, 350 tickets left. <coughs> 350 tickets left to try and clear this one point to get a few kills with my uh, mortar because I was correct in the fact that there were people hogging that point trying to get a few movement kills normally I'm much more accurate than this and with this with bolt action rifles I miss a few but I get a few and try to flank around the side because I can't I know I can't rush run through this path because the guy who knocked my other guy down will just kill me there. <clears throat> There's some snipers trying to go prone here. I get one, but I can't believe I missed that second. Really sad. Gonna respawn back at that rally point because, I mean, looking at the map there, there aren't any of my teammates who've managed to make it to the point. Use my bearings a little bit upon exiting that rally point area, which is always why you should aim so Anyone spawning from your rally point is able to immediately you know, run into the into direction of the point so they don't lose their bearings and waste valuable seconds. Um, and there's a guy just sitting in this little spot within the house. Difficult to take out and there's quite a few of them there. I'm getting a bit annoyed that I can't get them. I do get one but it's not the one I was talking about. There's one. And there's a lot of people just sitting outside of the front of these houses. So I figure I can't get over this fence for some reason. I'm glitched on this fence, so I just try to throw an explosive pack. Unfortunately, the throw wasn't very far. And there's a lot of people just downed in this one area, so I'm trying to get as many of them as I possibly can, but with bolt action, it's difficult to get them before they get up. I get a few of them before I'm knocked down myself. And I can see a guy shooting me, literally just... For some reason, he's missing me. I don't know how he's missing me. But as soon as I get up, obviously, that's just... Classic enlisted, as soon as you get up. They, they wait for you to get up before they shoot you again. And there's nothing you can do about it, but hey. <laughs> so I try to... Obviously I've lost my assaulters now, so I try to spawn with the next best thing, which are the gunners. They have at least a similar purpose, or can do a similar thing, with their automatic bursts. I'm trying to dodge a few bullets here, because I know people are trying to shoot me. Throw an explosive pack in, because I can see people. I get one who's not looking at me, and as I get on the point, I realise I'm the only person on the point, and there's a ton of enemies. I see a grenade, and I don't think I'm going to be able to throw it out in time, because I don't know how long that grenade's been there, so I have to run around the corner, hide myself, get a few in the house, get knocked down by a guy sitting on the outside. I don't know how he turned that quickly. That was a bit annoying that he managed to turn that quickly. But it doesn't seem like he's going to come over the wall to try and finish me off. I mark the tank for my team. I hesitate for a second there because I'm trying to think whether I've got an explosive pack, but I don't because I used it earlier, so I can't get rid of that tank. I'm trying to use this little corner area to mow down as many as I possibly can because I know that they like to come from that direction. I almost die there because, I mean, I was reloading, but fortunately I don't know what he was doing and I'm able to get him. I know I get a lot of kills here. I'll try to get away from this grenade, because I know it's going to explode soon, but I can't get out of that building quick enough. I think I glitch on the side, but someone else cleans me up instead. Spawn once again with the Mortar crews. We've got only got 121 tickets left. It's looking very unlikely now. It seems like the team are defending it well. They've probably got a rally point somewhere 
in that house I'm shooting now at the far back because I don't know how they're spawning so quickly. They must have rally point there, how they're defending it so quickly. Able to get a few who are trying to shoot me. I get another one who's not looking at me. Once again, get in the house. But I realise I do not have an MG. I try to go back to my own dead body, see if I can pick up anything. There's this guy on the floor trying to build something, this enemy engineer. I don't let him finish it, whatever he's building. Bit of a risky play trying to go into the back side of that house there. There's a guy hiding around the corner though, so I immediately just die from the camper. I get one, saving my own teammate. See, there's a few enemy ammunition boxes, but this one guy is a lot quicker to the trigger than me and mows me down. I'm really, really running out of tickets here. So I know it's sort of now or never because very um, this might be my last spawn I'm thinking unless we lose trying to run down the side running against the walls I know I'm not in the best area here because I'm out in the open but now I try to close the doors so that I can, if anyone's coming through them I can hear them I hear the doors opening I do get mowed down anyway because people know I'm there from the first kill that I got There aren't that many people here. I can mow a lot of them down. Unfortunately, they don't get me. I know one of them hides around that corner. So I try to throw a grenade, but then I realize that's not going to hit him because it's the wrong side of the house. I get as many of them down as I possibly can. Because we've got a minute, a minute to try and take this point. I need to get as many of them as possibly can. And I realize I can't just sit there in front of the house trying to mow them down before they get there because we have 48 seconds to actually try and cap the points. So I have to go into the other house to try and clean them out. I realise there's actually nobody really there. Apart from a few guys coming in. Try and get them down. This is a real challenge because I'm pretty much doing this whole thing myself at this point. <laughs> Single handed carry. I tried to throw a grenade back there but I can't get the... It to say that I can throw it back. I immediately get mowed down with that guy. Yeah, a few glitches with throwing grenades back or at least a very small hitbox and I can't can get it on that last guy so I fall because of the hesitancy. Well, we're actually doing quite well considering this is our last life. This could go down to the wire. 57 seconds again. The time has reset because we've been able to capture at least a bit of the point. My last guy goes down and at this point I know the game is pretty much over. There's pretty much nothing we can do because the only guys on my team left are two tankers although I think I'm about to find out there is one guy as I just saw in the corner of your screen there actually yeah there's the second tank but here's the guy we were talking about earlier just there's one guy left all on his own to try and take the point but he's not actually going for it he's just trying to get a few kills and to be honest I don't blame him because it's going to be impossible to take that in 20 seconds it is a real shame. We went down to the wire and we almost won. Obviously there are a few mistakes that I made. I got 168 kills, pretty much double second place. But it wasn't enough, sadly. Most of the time this would be enough though. I probably should have placed a few more rallies and there's a lot better things I could have done in this game. But I hope you get the general gist of what I have done in this game and how you can apply this to your own. Obviously practice your aim. Practice uh, running up buildings, running up against buildings, so you reduce the angle um, and possibilities for you to get a shot from. Um, and yeah, build <laughs> build more rallies because yeah, yeah, I've got a 14 engineer score here, but few of my other teammates got much of an engineer score. And you can see there's a few on the other enemy team who got quite a large engineer score. And a lot of people left the game, which you really shouldn't do because. If you're waiting for those final 58 seconds, if you just waited it out, you get the full XP. I mean, if you leave, you only get like a very small amount of what XP you would have got, so don't leave. Um, I don't know why people leave, to be honest, leave the games, because it just takes your grind a bit longer longer to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, 168 kills and, and so many other things, I'm hovering above all my little personal battle results here. Um, you know, lots of Battle Hero Awards, lots of Bronze Orders, 
a very high XP gain from that battle, and that was, you know, even though we didn't even win, so we missed out on the 1.5 times multiplier, which would have been huge and got me even better XP, which is why you always want to try and win, and that's why placing rallies is important, because they helped you win. But given that, you know, I, I did it really well in that game, and I hope you could take a lot from that game, really. Um, so, yeah. Welcome back from, well, more of me. I hope you enjoyed that gameplay and that you learned something new. Obviously take this one game with a pinch of salt because different maps require different styles of play and it also depends on which squads you have available in game with you and what troops you have in those squads so adapt your strategies accordingly. If you guys want more of these on different maps with different campaigns, squads selected and weapons and equipment loadouts then say in the comments and I'd be happy to do more for you guys. But all that aside, once again I hope you enjoyed the video have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.